Marin sus. There, I said it. Like, comment, and subscribe. All right, we're gonna start off with some of the basic blue tang combos since blue tang is pretty much the main starter that you want to get with this deck you want to start with it or draw it search it with Cynet mining so these are just going to be some basic blue tang combos we can normal summon it use its effect on summon dump the seahorse and then we can link it off for the blue slug now here we're going to chain link one the blue tang when it's linked off and chain link to the blue slug so that we can chain block the excavates on our blue tang so the blue slug is going to add back the seahorse and then off of the excavates of blue tang you can add anything so you can add like a wave if you draw that we can special the seahorse to a zone that the blue slug points to and then link it off for the angel which can search a Marincess spell card. So either the Battle Ocean or the new card, uh, Dive. But if you have like no other extenders in hand, probably just go for the Battle Ocean. <laughs> Next, we can link these two off for the Coral Anemone and then use Coral Effect to summon back a Marincess to a zone that it points to. So you can summon back pretty much anything here. It doesn't really matter because we're just going to go for the Link 3 Marbled Rock. And then Coral, when it's linked off or sent to the grave, you can add back a Marincess, so we're going to add back the Seahorse. And then Marbled Rock, its effect is that it can add back another Marincess card. So we're going to add back the Blue Tang. And while we, we end on this, just off of the one card, so we completely recycled our starters, right? We got the blue tank back in hand. We have the seahorse now in our hand. Um, and then since blue tang was our one card starter, that means we have four other cards in our hand. Now in this deck, if you don't draw, if you're ending on a board like this, it's because you didn't draw enough Marincess monsters or searchers, which means Every card that isn't a Marincess monster or a Marincess searcher is a hand trap. <laughs> so if you're ending on a board like this, chances are you started with blue tang and like four hand traps. So while this board is not impressive or as impressive as anything this deck can put out, uh, you probably have just a ton of hand traps in your hand that you have to disrupt your opponent instead. Next is going to be the blue tang, uh, but we have either ocean or dive in our hand already. So you can do this if you draw either of them because you can just search the one that you don't have. So we're going to start off with blue tang again, sending the seahorse, thinking off for the blue slug again, and then chain link one, chain link two, chain block our excavates. You can add anything here. I'm just going to add a blue tang. Summon the seahorse we added back to our hand. Go for the angel. And the angel will add the spell that we don't have. Because there's only two of them. And then we can link these two off for the coral. Go ahead and activate the ocean here. Uh, because we need the ocean on field to get the special from deck effect from the dive. So we're just going to use that now, and we're going to summon the Spring Girl, which is a new card, and also a new extender for the deck. So we can go for the Coral, targeting the Blue Tang, because it's level 4, because we are going to make a Bahamut Shark. And then Bahamut Shark effect, we're going to summon the Toad, link off for the Marbled Rock. And then we can use our Coral and our Marble to just start adding cards back. And the Spring Girl that we summoned off the dive, we haven't used its hand effect to summon out yet. So that's why we add this back, because we can summon it back to the field. And then Marbled Rock will recycle the Blue Tang. And then we can end on the Argonaut and equip three. 
So this was a two card combo that ends on uh, a spell trap negate and a totally awesome, which is an omni negate. And when we use the toad effect, we can recycle any of these waters in grave, so you can add back the spring girl. And then that means you would have tang, seahorse, and spring, all for follow up next turn. And then, of course, three other cards in your hand that could be hand traps, more disruption. So this is just one of the situations where the deck has so many new options now and Spring Girl being another level 4 to make making Bahamut Shark just way easier than it ever was. Uh, this one is going to be Blue Tang plus the spell, just like last time, uh, but this time we're just going to simulate that uh, off the Blue Tang we're going to excavate a level 4. Or, incest. or you could have one in hand already. So we're just going to simulate uh, that we're going to get the blue tang, uh, but you could also get any level 4 water extender off this. That will also do this full combo. So we're going to summon the angel, use the angel to get the spell that we don't have, link off for the coral, use the coral effect, summon back the level 4, and then we're going to dive for Pascalis. And Pascalis, when it's summoned, we can summon another from our hand. So we can summon the level 4 that we added, or that we searched. So now we have just tons of material on board to go for the shark. Shark will summon the toad. Use these two. Uh, since now we control um, enough Marincesses to go for the triangle. And then we're going to use the Anemone, add, adding back the Seahorse. We're going to use Triangle to pitch the Seahorse, adding the Wave. And then now we can use the Bahamut to make the Argonaut, because Argonaut only requires Waters. And then we're going to go for the Equips. So now we have the Wave, which is a Monster Negate from hand. And it also makes our entire board unaffected by card effects this turn that we use it. Toad, the Omni Negate, and Argonaut, the Spell Trap Negate. Um, and then of course, any other cards you had in your hand, like Hand Traps, because this deck does play a lot of Hand Traps. So this is the ideal end board that you want to make every game. And the deck can make this pretty consistently every game as well. This one is going to be Blue Tang and Pascalis, which will end on a very similar board to the last one, because the deck has tons of ways to get to that same end board. Uh, except this time, instead of sending the Seahorse off of the Blue Tang, we're going to send the Spring Girl, because we're just going for the level 4s. Like, we're trying to rank 4 spam this game. We're going to add back the Spring Girl off the Slug. And then let's just say you search like any other extender, right? So any other water extender. So for example, a Seahorse. Um, we can go for the Angel, add the Spell. Go for the Coral. Coral will summon back the level 4 to make the Bahamut and the Toad. Then we can go for the Spring Girl, uh, banishing any water from your grave. I recommend just banishing the Sea Angel because it won't really come up again. And then we can use these two to make the triangle. Anemone is going to add back the Seahorse. We can pitch the, pitch the monster we added back for the wave. And then go for the Argonaut yet again. So it's the exact same as last time, um, but instead of it being like Tang plus Spell plus Extender, it's Pascalis plus Tang plus Extender. So there's just tons of ways to get to this same end board, thanks to all the new cards that we have. This combo here is going to showcase a fun little interaction that we have, uh, thanks to 
uh, one of the new cards, Spring Girl. We can actually mining pitching a seahorse. Uh, you can also pitch a Spring Girl here too, I think. It'll get you the same place. We're going to search the Tang and then use Tang to dump whichever one you didn't pitch off the mining. You just want both of them engraved pretty much. And then we're just going to go for all the same stuff. Add the seahorse, excavate whatever, summon the seahorse, use the sea angel searching the ocean, go for coral, coral summon back the level 4, use the ocean, we're going to make the triangle here, we're going to add back the spring girl, and then whatever water or marincess we have left in hand that we could have excavated off of the blue tang, we're going to pitch that to add the wave. And then we can summon the Spring Girl, banishing the Angel, make the Argonaut, equip three, and then now we have Argonaut plus Wave. And I mean, there's probably something, there's probably something way better you can do <laughs> than this, but again, it's just, it's just the options, right? The deck has so many options to get to these end boards now, with, with plenty of follow-up depending on the hand. So this one here is just basic seahorse loops <laughs> right like this is this combo has been around forever so i'm not going to talk about it too much but yeah you can just go for all this stuff go for the anemone go ahead and get your equips on the anemone just in case they like valor or imperm this so you'll at least have just a big chungus um, and then now instead of making the marbled rock you can just go for the triangle, equip three, and then use triangle to add the wave. So before, you would just end on the marbled rock, add back the seahorse, and then you would just have seahorse and then four other cards in your hand. Uh, but now we can end on the triangle so that we have a wave plus four other cards in our hand. So <laughs> you could have like five hand traps or something with this. Now this combo with Pascalis plus a spell, any Marincess spell, this would have been a huge brick before the new support because Pascalis doesn't do anything by itself. But now, thanks to the new spell, Dive, you have tons of options to just overextend that we didn't have before. So so if you draw if you draw a hand like this, then uh you didn't brick, so don't scoop. <laughs> because we can use the dive that we searched off of just making the sea angel right off the bat to summon the blue tang. And then of course the blue tang as you know is just the full works. Right? It gets, you the, it gets you the dump, it gets you the excavate, it gets you the material to go into the anemone. Like all of this stuff that you couldn't do before, you can do now. Like add back, and just add back everything, search a wave, summon the seahorse that we haven't used yet, make the argonaut, and then now we just have two negates. So a hand that before the new support would have been a brick, it's now a just, it's now two negates and a big bungus. And then you have three other cards in your hand. And we excavated any Marincess card off of the blue tang. So, so that was just a two card combo and we've gone like what, plus two at the end of the turn with two negates. Seems pretty good. Now this part of the video is going to be a bit different. I haven't done one of these before, but for this deck specifically, the deck has so many options and different pathings to get to a specific end board that I feel like I just wanted to show off some test hands. So like this is just a random hand, right? And we have pretty much everything we could want. So we can normal summon the Pascalis, we're going to summon the Blue Tang, and we're going to dump the Seahorse. Uh, now even, like if your Pascalis got Valored or Impermed or something, 
You could have just linked it off for like a slug or a, uh, a sea angel actually. And then you could just banish it to summon the spring girl and then that would get the ball rolling a bit. So the deck is even more resilient now to hand traps than it was before thanks to all the all the new extenders. So we're just going to go for the slug here to add back the seahorse. And we happen to hit a wave, which is pretty nice. So we can go for the seahorse right here. And we're going to go make a coral anemone. And then we can go ahead and banish. Hmm. Let's banish the slug. I kind of messed up the pathing here a little bit, but it's fine. Should have made this first before making the anemone, but it's whatever. So we get the ocean here. <laughs> and then what we can do... Go for the Bahamut Shark. And the Toad. Now here we have two options. We can make a triangle, add another wave, and then go for Argonaut. Or we can go for Crystal Heart into Argonaut to make it unaffected by card effects. Um, so there's two different paths we can take here. If you know what your opponent's playing, you can go for whichever one would be more effective. Um, but just for the, shake, for the sake of showing off all the new cards, uh, let's go for this one, or we go for the triangle. So what this will get us is another wave, <laughs> and then we can go for the Argonaut using the Toad and the triangle to equip our three equips and then we can like set the imperm so now we have five interruptions right spell negate omni negate and three monster negates that seems pretty good let's try another one ah yeah this is um this should just be full combo right I mean, we have literally everything. We even have the Maiden to protect our uh, Battle Ocean, which is pretty cool. Alright, we're gonna Tang 1, Slug 2. Uh, we're gonna, we have a Seahorse already, we're just gonna add back the Spring Girl. And we whiffed on the Excavate, but that's fine. That's A-OK. -okay. Because we have plenty of Extenders in hand. Right, let's go ahead and activate the ocean. Let's go for the coral. Not gonna bother using it. Uh, we can summon back the tang. Banish the angel for the spring girl. Um, we can make toad here. Which is what I think I will do. Because this deck does lose to Nibiru. I think we're well past five summons at this point, but, <laughs> you know, anything helps. And then we can summon out the Sleepy Maiden here. Uh, now again, and we're, we're at the same position as last game, where we can either make the Triangle, or we can make the big unaffected Argonaut. Uh, I think this time I'll go for the Argonaut just to mix things up a little bit. Because we already have a wave, right? So it's not a big deal. All right, so now we can go for the Argonaut. We can use the Coral. We're gonna add back the Blue Tang to follow up next turn. And we're gonna equip our three equips. So now we have the Argonaut, the Toad, the Wave. Uh, the Argonaut is unaffected by uh, your opponent's card effects while we control the battle ocean uh, because it was summoned with the crystal heart. Um, and since it's in the extra monster zone, our opponent can't attack the toad. They have to attack it. And it has 4,300 attack. 
So nothing is getting over this except for an access code. But if even if they summoned access code, like we have the wave, we could just negate it. And if they try to pop the ocean, like we have the Argonaut to negate like a cosmic, we have the toad to negate like a nightmare phoenix, we have the wave to negate any monster, and then we have the blue tang in hand, which will just be like full combo next turn. Alright, let's do one more here. Oh yeah, this is pretty good. We actually drew a hand trap this time, which is pretty neat. We're gonna go for the seahorse because seahorse plus tang is a really safe... It's just a really safe bet. <laughs> Alright, go for the slug. Chain link one, chain link two. Hopefully we'll hit something off the excavate this time. Oh, we hit another dive, which is cool, I guess. For next turn. And then of course we can add the spell that we don't have, which is the ocean. And then we can... This time we can actually make a... See, that? that's four summons. No, this is... Oh no, we're well... Yeah, we're well past five summons by this point, but... <laughs> but we can go ahead and make the Toad. Just even more protection. Okay, we're gonna link off the Bahamut and the Slug here. We can go for Tang, I guess. I think in this scenario, I really want a um, a wave. I think I really want a wave here. So we're gonna search one, and then go for the Argonaut using these two. And then we'll go ahead and get our equips. Always making sure you equip the Anemone, because when you use your Negate with Argonaut, you're summoning the Anemone. And if it sticks to the board, you can just use it next turn as like Link Material, use its effect to, to reborn something. It just gives you really easy access to access code, pretty much. Right? Because even without using Anemone effect, you can just use it, Argonaut, and any monster to go for a access code. Um, and it'll have 6300 attack because you used a Link 4 as material. Yeah, so here again, we have like the Argonaut, the Toad, and the Wave. You know, like I said, you're just... <laughs> You're going for this every game. Argonaut, Toad, Wave. That's that's the end goal. And then any other hand traps you could have in hand is just a bonus. So like we have the bell to negate something. <laughs>